percent chance of rain today. And then I think a tiny little shower came through enough to just take the dust off the road. And then now we're down to 23 percent chance of rain today. So once again, another rainless day, probably. And as you guys can see, when we get to this development, we're supposed to mow it two days in there. And we're gonna see how long the grass has reached. Yeah, I know. Nothing is growing. Still a pretty view there. Yeah, it's kind of neat with the clouds. I said that before. I kind of like it when it's cloudy. It's always different every day. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look at my crazy hair. Oh well. We did leave in the morning, but it's been a wild goose chase trying to find air for the truck, which we haven't found. Yeah. So we have a lower tire we have to get filled up. And I don't know which one it is, so I'm just gonna get a tire pressure gauge, I guess, from the house and figure out which one it is because right. we filled up one at the place and the thing they had did not work that great. So and the wrong stopped. one was going up. And the wrong one was going up, so I don't understand what that's about. Yeah, so I don't know when, like, when we had the tires rotated, tires maybe rotated. the sensors rotate. I don't know. You would think that they wouldn't do that. You would think that the computer would know that, but yeah, I don't know, you guys. Anybody with a Chevy that has rotated tires, if you've had that experience, we're thinking that it's like opposite because he was doing this one in the back left was going off yeah and then the thing stopped working so i just gave up <laughs> yeah. on it and i said i'm not messing with this because it's already getting later mm -hmm. then we went to the mulch yard where we get our mulch and nobody has double ground pine in any of his any of their mulch yards no and they won't get it for two to three weeks and we're supposed to do 50 yards of double ground pine yeah and then the other place we went to find double ground pine i'll show you it's not it's chunkier it's not the what I really like using, mm -hmm. but it still will hold the color better. And it is for a yard and a half, 20 something dollars more yep. than we pay because we get a big discount at the other place. Yeah, so that obviously eats into profit a little bit. A lot of it. A lot of it. So um, we won't be getting it there even though they have the mold, double ground pine. Um, yeah, because you can't, we can do that for this one, three but yards, not four for yards, 50. not for 50. No. So mm -hmm. we might have to wait two or three weeks or use another material that they have at that mold chard. Yeah, something similar. Maybe they have the double ground um, pine hardwood mix. That's too stringy too. So I don't know. We'll so, see. Yeah, we'll but see. Rachel's gonna set up plants and do some more planting. I'm gonna start by spading the bed over there. And raking, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna spade over here, put some mulch in, spade here, and then I'll come over to here. Okay, yeah. So if we can get the mulch out, then we can put the rest of this debris in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. did we bring a green bag? Mm -hmm. or? Oh, good. Yeah, because I'm gonna but need But you need it for the mulch. Room. Okay. That's all right. I'll work. What I'll do yeah, is we'll, we'll work, work this way. way. You make okay. sure there's no bees there. Okay. So. If not, we'll just cover them up, right? Oh yeah, it looks like we didn't bring that again, did we? Do you see some? I see them on the lamb's ear. So. Oh, that might be bumblebees though. Okay. So. Okay, let's get out and get this done. Okay. And then we have one to mow this afternoon. Yeah. So. Okay. Here's the mulch. Obviously you can tell it's a chunkier double ground pine. I like it a lot more like broken down than this, but it is what it is. And when we get a yard and a half at Asheville mulch yard, a yard and a half is up to here. This is, to me, that's about a yard, but it is what it is. Okay, so Rachel's going to set up some plants. I'm going to spade and get some mulch out here and clean these out, and then I'll help her over here. Is there bees? I don't think so. I'm just going to rake over here just to be sure. Just to be sure? Well, don't get stung. Oh, all I gotta do is edge this one out, kind of, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get to work.
Rachel's over there planting all her flowers. She planted salvia. She's got to plant all these. A sunflower back there. And this is all coleus. Now this doesn't come back. This will get really big and pretty. The flowers, but it won't come back. The set now, the, um, what is that? Sage will come back. Yeah, the sage will. And, and eventually we're going to put perennial sunflowers. The oh, yeah. Maximilian. Does that look straight? Uh-huh. We're just waiting for them to grow right now. Yeah. So I... As you've seen in the video, I prep these beds here and then I dump mulch for Rachel to go ahead and spread when she's done because I'm doing all the edge work. I only have to edge this sidewalk left here and right around to there. I'm not edging. In previous years, we edged all the way around, but I think I'm just going right around to there. Yeah. I'm not messing around on the other side there because technically, I don't think half of that's their property. But we are putting mulch all past the evergreens over there and all in here. So let me get that going. We got all back there done. Sunflowers planted. We need probably, what do you think, another yard? Yeah, probably. Another, yeah. I think another yard of mulch will do. We did all this, this, and then we we're. got all back there done? Yeah, just a little more. So all we need is this section here. So, okay, we're gonna go run and do this. Guys, another landscaping project done right there, there. Rachel planted some zinnias, a sunflower, some moss roses, a uh, sage there. We remulched all this. We planted the two spirals. Rachel added salvia, um, sage, verbena. Petunias, whole bunch of coleus, sunflowers. We did the four arborvitaes and we remulched all in here. Not bad, not bad. So we are done this project. We will be back, as you can see, this long, long lawn that's a week on Tuesday. It's so long, we'll be back on Wednesday this week instead uh, to mow it. Probably, and we have to mow this because it's 4th of July. Yeah. No, I'm going to mow it. We're going to mow them all one time. But. Okay, guys, we are here to mow our only one for the day. As you can see, Rachel starting. Oh, it's so dry. So dry, so... Normally this is a weekly account and this thing grows like a weed over here, all this here. We haven't been here in 12 days and look how dry it is. And look, they're building one house there, one house there. Oh my gosh, they dug the mountain out over there. I'll have to show you. Nice view today, guys. Looks sunny. We didn't get any rain again. 80% chance when we woke up and now no rain until Thursday, maybe. Ugh, not good. Okay, we're done for the day. Look, they got a new house going up there. And another one going up there. And another one's gonna go there. Whew. We are done for the day. Yeah, that was, usually it's not a tough day when we mow and do something else with him, but oh, I guess four yards of mulch, I'm sorry, buddy. You did a lot of that mulch by yourself. I just helped you spread it. You were but planting, you were digging yeah. into the ground. So we got some stuff done today, but the schedule isn't busy. You guys see the lawns, they're not. It's not like it's a pressing issue to get to mowing them. It's a little scary because, yeah. I mean, that last one that you saw is mostly irrigated and... Still dry. Yep. 
there was like a lot of sections I only went over once. Yeah, that whole back side of the hill, which I hadn't mowed in like 20 days, I only went over once. Yeah, because the last time you... Before we had COVID. Yeah. So, Crazy. but we got it done and tomorrow's not that bad. Oh, well, yeah, I guess, depending on what we do, we'll see. So guys, hopefully you liked that video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to be happy. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Have a good night.